Creativity is one of the most transferable skills for kids and adults alike. Chicago Toys and Games Fair is one of the greatest places to cultivate this skill. That's right. The Young Inventor Challenge at the fair encourages kids of all ages to pitch their creative game or toy ideas to major toy companies. And joining us now is Young Inventor Tate Hudson and Mary Cousin, founder of the Chicago Toy and Game Fair. Welcome, you guys. Mm, thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining us. So, Mary, first of all, congratulations because yeah. you recently got in the Toy Hall of Fame for all of the work you do. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Can you just tell us about the fair and how anyone watching who thinks they may have an idea <laughs> can get involved? Sure. So it's um, for kids ages 6 to 18. And it was inspired by my daughter who invented a card game. And so just seeing her process of creating, it really does teach kids how to create, how to think. And um, it really, it changed her, and I could see how it's changed a lot of other kids, and some have ended up in the toy and game industry. And Tate, this is the game that you won with, right? Yes. Right there, you can't. You, you can't. can't. Right there. Okay, and so you're 16 now, but yes. you won it in 2018. Yes, so I was 11 at the time. Wow, so impressive. So how did you come up with the idea to do this? So I made it with my best friend, Lily Brown, and. We were always just super competitive, like innovative <laughs> kids. I feel like always trying to do something. We were always like making American Girl doll clothes and trying to sell Aww. them, whatever the business idea of the day was, basically. <laughs> so we landed on a little game called Bet You Can't, and we just kind of changed it through the years and then entered the Toy and Game Fair, which is really how it came to be Bet You Can't. And you were saying that you feel like it kind of taught you a lesson too, like, wait, kids can actually do stuff in this world, like, yeah. really early on. Totally. It was like, <laughs> You can do anything, honestly. Like, we wanted to make a game, and then we were able to do it. Like, there's resources to get things done if you're a kid, too. Yeah, so, Tate, how do we play the game? All right, so, basically, Bet You Can't is a one-upping, like, quick-thinking, mm. testing game about random different topics. So, someone will be established the reader of the round. So, here are a little stack of oh, the cards. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Wow, so more one cards. Of, <laughs> one of the examples could be name blank amount of things found at the beach in 15 seconds. Oh, okay. So then around going clockwise, someone will say, I think I can name 10. So then you have to go around and say okay. 11 Got or it. more. And then you can either pass or one up them basically. And then it'll get back to the reader and you'll say, bet you can't. Or you can say, bet I can. So then they'll have to prove that they can do it and then set the timer and do what they said they could do. And then you'll either win the card or lose it. And then you're basically just trying to get the most cards. Wow. That is really cool. What, what was your thought when you saw your game actually packaged and being sold? It was insane. Like, uh, there's a picture of me at Target, just like, there's no way. Like, <laughs> I'm famous at this point. Yes, like, absolutely. Faces on the game, like, that was just so surreal to me. And Mary, that's got to be so inspiring for you to be able to keep doing what you're doing to get young minds involved. Oh, I love these kids. You Really, when they present, we have actually toy and game executives there that they're pitching to. Wow. You know, Hasbro, Mattel, Goliath, Disney, they're all there, and, and they love these kids. They love these kids, and they love being pitched, mm -hmm. and... It's it's amazing, really. That is so cool. So if, if anyone wants to get involved, mm -hmm. you still have time oh, yeah. to in join, fact, and you have to sign up if you want to pitch. Yes, you have to October 22nd to sign up. So they're, right, you definitely have time. And it's not till November 4th is when you do the pitching to everybody. And Mary, what does the pitch look like? Because I'm assuming that you won't have a like nice, shiny box. Right. And you won't have all the stuff, right? Is it just an idea? It's just, well, the, the kids will put together a prototype for sure. Oh, okay. And you can Frankenstein that, like with okay. different other parts, <laughs> I love that right? Term. Yeah. <laughs> and um, in fact, it's, it's actually really oh, fun. Oh, and these are audition tapes that you can send oh, in yes. too? Yes. Oh, got it. So there's yeah. the prototype that you mm -hmm. build and then you have an audition tape as well. Tate, what's your advice for kids? What can they do to win? <laughs> just do it, guys. Honestly, go for it. You can do it. It's well, going to be fun, too. Like, just have so much fun with it. I well, think that's... what's the future hold for you? Because I'm assuming this just encouraged you to do. Yeah, hopefully more of this. Hopefully another game, something like that. Another invention, I think, in the near future. Maybe another collab with Lily. We'll see. Amazing. You guys, thank you so much for coming. Oh, we thank appreciate you. it. This is awesome. If you know any kid that has a toy or a game idea and wants to uh, pitch to toy makers the people of play young inventor challenge is open as we said until this sunday october 15th head over to their website at shytag.com or check out their socials to learn more thanks guys thank you so thank much you.